Hello, I'm Dr. Stephen Fine. I'm the founder and president of Heme Onc Call, a telemedicine Heme Onc practice dedicated to treating patients with ITP. Here are some important disclosures for the video. Let's dive into the benefits for Doptelet. The efficacy of Doptelet in adults with chronic ITP was evaluated in a phase three multicenter randomized double-blind placebo-controlled trial. Eligible patients were males and females 18 years of age and older with ITP of 12 months or more in duration, and the average of two platelet counts less than 30. Other key inclusion criteria included previously receiving one or more ITP therapies and either initially responded to a previous ITP therapy or having had a bone marrow exam consistent with ITP within the past three years to rule out myelodysplastic syndrome or other causes of thrombocytopenia. The key exclusion criteria included known secondary ITP, re recent use of ITP therapies prior to randomization, history of cancer treatment with cytotoxic chemotherapy and or radiation, significant medical conditions that may impact the safety of the patient or interpretation of the study results, history of MDS or arterial or venous thrombosis, gastric atrophy, pernicious anemia, significant cardiovascular disease, cirrhosis, portal hypertension, and chronic active hepatitis or concurrent malignant disease. At the start of the trial, patients were assigned to either 20 milligrams doptelet or placebo and underwent a six week dose titration period. Following the dose titration period, patients had a 12-week concomitant ITP medication reduction period, an eight-week maintenance phase, a four-week dose tapering phase, and a four-week follow-up period. At any time, the Doptella dose could be titrated up or down based on their platelet count. The dose modification goal was to achieve a platelet count of greater than 50 and less than 150. A total of 49 patients were randomized in a two-to-one ratio. Of those 49 patients, 32 received Doptelet and 17 received placebo. The baseline characteristics were well balanced between the two treatment arms, including similar baseline platelet counts, mean age, the proportion of patients who have taken at least five previous ITP medications. In the pivotal trial, the data highlights that Doptelet can help raise and maintain platelet count. The primary endpoint was the cumulative number of weeks of platelet response. Patients on Doptelet obtained a platelet count of 50 for a median of 12.4 weeks without the need for rescue therapy. Patients who required rescue therapy were deemed a non-responder for the entire trial duration. Doptelet was shown to increase platelet count as early as day eight. The secondary endpoint evaluated the proportion of patients with a platelet response on day eight. The data demonstrates that the majority of patients who received Doptelet increased their platelet count to greater than 50 on day eight while patients who received placebo had not responded. Doptelet has demonstrated safety and tolerability in clinical trials. The safety of Doptelet in adults with chronic ITP was evaluated in two phase three trials and two phase two trials in 161 patients with chronic ITP. The pooled safety data from these four clinical trials includes 128 patients who received 2.5 milligrams to 40 milligrams of Doptelet once daily for a median duration of exposure of 29 weeks and had one post-dose safety assessment. The most frequent adverse reactions occurring in 10% or more of patients treated with Doptelet were headache, fatigue, contusion, epistaxis, upper respiratory tract infection, arthralgia, gingival bleeding, petechiae, and nasopharyngitis. Doptelet is the only oral TPO receptor agonist without food type restrictions or significant hepatotoxicity noted in clinical trials. Doptelet is taken with food and there are no calcium or other food type restrictions. There's no need for additional liver function monitoring given that there was no significant hepatotoxicity seen in clinical trials with Doptelet. No office visit is required for Doptelet administration. After initiating therapy with Doptelet, assess platelet counts weekly until a stable platelet count of 50 has been achieved and then obtain platelet counts monthly thereafter. As an oral tablet, Doptelet offers ease of administration. With Doptelet, starting at one dosage strength help makes titration manageable. The recommended starting dose of Doptelet is 20 milligrams once daily with food. Titration up or down should be done as necessary based on platelet count and patient goals. Platelet count should be assessed weekly until a stable platelet count of 50 or higher has been achieved 
and then platelet count should be maintained monthly thereafter. In summary, Doptelet is FDA approved to treat adults with chronic ITP when other treatments haven't worked well enough. It has been demonstrated to boost the body's ability to make platelets and can be taken with any type of food at any time of day. If steroids or other treatments failed to successfully manage platelet counts for patients with chronic ITP, Doptelet may be an appropriate treatment option. Indication, Doptelet, avatrombopag, is indicated for the treatment of thrombocytopenia in adult patients with chronic immune thrombocytopenia who have had an insufficient response to a previous treatment. Important safety information, warnings and precautions. Doptelet is a thrombopoietin TPO receptor agonist and TPO receptor agonists have been associated with thrombotic and thromboembolic complications in patients with chronic immune thrombocytopenia. Thromboembolic events, arterial and venous, have been reported in patients with chronic immune thrombocytopenia treated with TPO receptor agonists. In clinical trials, 7%, 9 out of 128, of patients with chronic immune thrombocytopenia treated with doptelet developed a thromboembolic event. Consider the potential increased thrombotic risk when administering doptelet to patients with known risk factors for thromboembolism, including genetic prothrombotic conditions, factor V Leiden, prothrombin 20210A, antithrombin deficiency, or protein C or S deficiency. Doptelet should not be administered to patients with chronic immune thrombocytopenia in an attempt to normalize platelet counts. Follow the dosing guidelines to achieve target platelet counts. Contraindications, none. Drug interactions. Dose adjustments are recommended for patients with chronic immune thrombocytopenia taking moderate or strong dual CYP2C9 and CYP3A4 inducers or inhibitors. Adverse reactions. The most common adverse reactions, greater than or equal to 10%, were headache, fatigue, contusion, epistaxis, upper respiratory tract infection, arthralgia, gingival bleeding, petechia, and nasopharyngitis. Please see full prescribing information for Doptelet, Ava Trombopag, at doptelet.com.